baseball fans, and welcome. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. And on the hill today, number 51. Yeah, but last time out, got into the fourth inning. The key to his success today, he's got to throw first pitch strikes, get ahead in the count. I think that'll get him in a position to qualify for a win. Okay, all set to go. And now the right fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Brian De La Cruz. And a pitch. That's a strike. And that's how this game gets started. Now a screamer into the outfield. That's a base hit. Everything came together for him. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So digging in, number 73. Pitch misses inside, ball one. And the right hander deals. Runner on the go. One ball, one strike. Throw safe. Well, he's batting leadoff and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. No outs. Runner on second. on the ground a second throw on to Olsen one out in the top of the first and time now for the Marlins lineup and a big factor for them in recent games Brian De La Cruz and Boog he was a force over the last month and OPS over a thousand man just really dialed in at the plate right now so capable of doing major damage every time he steps in the box tell you what I always enjoy watching this guy do his thing Jesus Sanchez, batting with one down, takes a strike. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. Next offering misses, and it's one and two. And now two and two. And the next pitch is way outside. Left hand hitter waits. Started after it, appeal to third, and he won around. Rule to swing. Depth strikeout situation right there, and he got it. You do not want him to put the ball in play and want to strand that runner at third. Now all he needs is one more out to get it. Doesn't have to be a strikeout this time since now they're two outs. Here's Ramon Laureano. And Boog, I'd say he's due. First offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. Rudder at third, two away. A little bit low. 
And it is two and one. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. And there's ball four. Nope. Ball four. That is good. The designated hitter. Jorge. So two Jorge. on with two away. Jorge Soler up at the plate. That's in for a strike. Kicks and deals. Slice down the right side. And a base hit up the middle. And they strike first as they take a one. Picks himself up in RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here's Christian Arroyo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. That's a base hit. Loriano rounds third, headed for the plate. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they lead by two. Back-to-back -back base hit. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. First and second, two down. And now for the Marlins, Jake Berger. First pitch, and he misses well with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning I mean you're giving the other team a really good look he's gonna have to find a way to get some weak contact maybe a swing and miss get into that dugout and hit the reset button and the 1-0 all two That's a little bit low. No, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Nick Fortes waiting for a turn at the plate. Pumps in a strike, and now 3-1 and one the count. Soler, the lead runner out at second. Arroyo at first, two out of the inning. Swing and a miss. Three and two down. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. Two on, two outs. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Battling here as he fouls it away.
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. And here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. And he swings and misses. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Not a swing you want to watch again. Base is loaded. Two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Marlins two and the Braves coming up. Back at Truist Park and on the hill here today, Jesus Lazardo. What's the word on him? Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. A sub 350 ERA and, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub twos. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year. Opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. And now the lefty. In the air, left field. Sanchez hauls it in, and there's one away. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Sean Murphy. He's one of the better home run hitters in the league this year. In fact, in the top five in homers in the National League. He's not missing many pitches. And I tell you what, when he gets his pitch, it goes a long way. Make sure you don't sleep on this guy if you're the pitcher. Orlando Arcia stands in now and watches strike one. Next pitch misses. One and one. And there's a ball. In the air, left side, and puts the squeeze on that. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Ronald Acuna Jr. next up for the Braves. Next offering is down low. One one. The one one is fouled off. That misses, <laughs> and the count is even two and two. hit left field base hit and that keeps the inning alive man those are the types that of hits where you don't feel any okay. vibration in your hands whatsoever oh. such a good feeling we've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters but it's not foolproof he pulled it as expected but he found a hole that time and now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first here's Sean Murphy and a pitch out, but nothing going on. Go. 
the pitch. And now two and nothing. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. In there at the knees. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. On the corner for a strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. The next pitch misses, and it's 3-2. Three 3-2, two. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hit to first, and they've got him picked off. The tag, and they got him. And that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. And to the first from Truist Park. It's the Marlins two, and the Braves nothing. And welcome back. And now here is Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Yeah, the right hander back to work and immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And the 0-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Left hand batter waits. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. That's a really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Here comes a pinch. Fouls it back with two strikes. The 0-2. Outside, Singy, he wasn't real sharp in the first, got hit around, but really more so, didn't throw a ton of strikes. Well, he's just got to find a way to settle down. He was clearly fighting himself out there, not really finding the strike zone, walking batters. So we'll see if he can get back on track and fill up the zone a little bit more. Next pitch has popped up. Arcia has a beat on it. One up, one down. The right field, number 14, Ryan. De La Cruz. Now it's the right fielder, Brian De La Cruz. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Aside to home plate duty is Ricky Holiday. Boog, and something I've heard players saying about Ricky's strike zone is how he will call the high strike. That could be something that's tough to deal with, especially if you've got a guy out there coming at you with high velocity. Here's a 1-1. Just oh, off the outside edge. And the pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Now batting the second baseman, Cesar. Priego. And the batter now, number 73. He's 0 for 1. Come on, 
That one's in there, 0 and 1. Tap back up the middle. Sends it to first. That's out number three. Miami down in order as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Sean Murphy. He might just be the best hitting catcher in the game today. Well, Boog, he's so valuable, does a good job behind the plate, but offensively, He's a middle-of-the-order type of bat, especially when you talk about catchers, and their number one job is to handle the pitching staff and prevent runs. This guy is able to add runs by producing them. Next one misses, and the count even one and one. Swing and a miss. Two straight. The pitch just oh, misses cool. the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. And now it's three and two. the pitch and so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow Ozzie Albies up to the plate yeah but kind of hard to believe but Ozzie Albies first second baseman in Braves history multiple Swing, he went oh, one man. one. The pitch, and that's a base hit, and that one's going to get into the corner. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Austin Riley. Hitless in four at bats yesterday. There's a strike. Kicks and fires. And that Off one is inside ball one. Ball one. Okay, gets a chance. Let's go. And now it's one and two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Murphy, the runner at third. Albies at second with nobody out. That one in the two dirt, ball. and it's two, two and two. Struck him out swinging. Had him out front for strike three. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. And next is the designated hitter, Vaughn Grissom. That one catches the zone, and that is strike one. One down, runners at second and third. Right Next offering is foul back. Three 
0-2 now. That's back off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. On the ground. That's a base hit. Run scores. De La Cruz fires it to the plate. The run comes in from second. It's 2-2. Two -two. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Just down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Drove in their only run in last night's game. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. Off the plate. Two balls, no strikes. He swings and fouls one off. And a 2-1 on the way. That one ripped, but foul. And here it comes. You got a full count. And ball four to a board. Batting done. And now Matt Olson up to him. Looking to rebound today. He was 0 for 4 last night. Misses outside. 1 and 0. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The pitch. That's through there for a strike. We got a ball, one strike. And another ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Next one misses. Three and one now. Michael Harris to bat next. The three one. And a foul ball. And a pitch. In there. Got him looking for the K. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. That right there will drive you crazy as a hitter. That pitch has no business being called a strike. It's definitely not what the pitcher was trying to do with the curveball in any count, let alone a two-strike count. So the umpire right there, he's just rewarding a bad pitch. At the play, Michael Harris. one down Aye. perhaps not quite ready to hit first two pitches by him for a couple of strikes now back is against the wall it's gonna have to figure something out and figure it out quickly oh. next offering misses now one and two first and second two down Swings and misses, struck him out. They get two and draw even again. We head on now to the top of the third.
back here in Atlanta. Jesus Sanchez. Jesus Sanchez. The pitch. The center fielder, Ramon. Laureano, Laureano comes up to hit. He walked and came around to score his first time up. Laureano goes five feet, 11 inches, 28 years old. And he's usually in right field, but today he's patrolling center. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, one's the count. Tied up here in the early going. Next pitch misses. Going to count one and two. Really good run. Perhaps a little bit too much on that two seamer. Couldn't hold the corner. The one two. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Line drive, base hit. So they get a man aboard. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Next is the designated hitter, Jorge Soler. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Loriano at first, one gone. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And misses inside. Riding to the plate. That one three. missed. And a 3-1 on the way. And there's the strike. Full count. And that's ball nope. four. Ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close now pitches. Back. And somehow, Boogie he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Arroyo in the box now. Take strike one. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. The 0-1. That one missing inside. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The 1-1. In the air, right field. Acuna there. Snags it for the second out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor yeah, like him, he is looking And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. 
And a swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Oh, and two now. And that just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That misses. Now two and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Line drive. Harris makes the catch, and the inning is over. Marlon strand a pair. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now in for the Braves, Orlando Arcia. Lazardo back to work. Arcia playing up the middle at short, batting second in today's lineup, and he was born in Venezuela. That's outside, outside that's and it's a ball and a strike. The wind and the pitch. On the ground, out to short. Sends it across the first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone for a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Kicks and deals. Tries to hold up, appeal to first. Nope, he held back. In there. And so now one, one and two. That's Nothing right. but curveball so far in the at-bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. The 2-2. Two -two. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Now he'll turn for second. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. One out, runner at second. So here's Murphy now. The walk and a run scored his first time. In there for strike one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. Well, about sleeping in the right side in the outfield. So the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The next offering misses. And that is ball one. Inside, Whoa, just missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Man at second. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand. That one ripped. Hits the fence. Runner from second crosses the plate. It's 3-2. Well done. Drives in the run. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Doubled in his first A-B. He's going. Runner on the goal. Next pitch is popped up. Arroyo makes the catch. 
out number two. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They oh, look really good coming in, but so baseman. hard to get on top of as a hitter. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. Struck out swinging his first time. Ball no, one low. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. Two outs. Good eye in that spot. Next offering misses down and away. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Out to short. And that is the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. on a pitch here he last pitched two days ago number 36 here's the catcher Nick Cortez he led the game off with a strikeout and looking to get on base in this plate appearance the wind of the pitch and that's outside you know, these Marlins doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Righty delivers. Hit on the ground to the right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff now man. Good fade and sinking action Jazz in that changeup. Got Chisholm that hitter to roll Jr. over. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. He's 0 for 1. First offering misses badly for ball one. Just oh, missed. That misses the zone. Three balls, no strikes. Fires in a fastball at 95. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. Fouls one away and now three and two. There's a swing and a drive. Acuna moving back. Back some more. Warning track. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. Back to the top of the Miami order. Brian De La Cruz will hit next. One for two.
And a foul ball. The 0 1. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Here's the 0 2. And that misses off the outside edge. And that one is inside. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Paris ranging back. Back some more. Makes the catch up against the wall. And one, two, three go the Marlins. They trail it. Three, two. Now, here is Paul Grissom. The wide to kick the pitch. Line drive, speared at first. Arroyo steps on the bag, one out in the bottom of the floor. Marcel. And next for Atlanta, Marcelo Zuna. He reached out a walk his first time. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. That's a little bit low. Two balls, no strike. And now two and one. Two one. Ball and a three. good eye there. <laughs> and a pitch. Swung on, belted. That's back. And out of here. He circles the bases, and they tack one on the board. It's 4-2. in this at bat was very patient and it paid off here is Matt Olson that's in there that's strike one when you think about the best defensive first baseman in the game Olson is certainly in the conversation he's won multiple gold gloves over there and it seems like he picks everything one of those guys that the infielders love because he makes that third baseman, shortstop, Whoa. and second baseman even better, saving those errors. And now the lefty. That's ball two. Left hand hitter waits. Whoa, that's down. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Boom. Do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Paris at the plate now. That's ball one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Next offering is fouled back. On, 
The other way. Could be extra bases. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. How about it? I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Here's Orlando Arcia. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Late swing. Little base head here, that's all. Oh, and two now. Got him looking for the strikeout. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. So first and second with two outs. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And nope. another ball. When you get ahead in the count, up. there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. The pitch. And that one hammered back there. Oh! He sends a rocket to left. Home run number five on the season. It's 7-2. This is what you live for to be in the driver's seat here. He got a pitch that he could handle, and he hit that pitch really hard. Nice home run. Now the Marlins manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Jesus Lazardo gives way, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Garcia on a pitch out of the pen here. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Here's a big power threat. Sean Murphy. In there and it's 0-1. Right-hander kicks, deals. Back up the... Oh, that got him! First inning over on the ground out. Took just two pitches to finish the frame out of the bullpen. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 7-2 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back at Truist Park. Now it's the second baseman, number 73. Let's go, Bridge. And the right hater back to work. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Activity in the bullpen. Colin McHugh getting ready to go. Han, the lefty, warming up as well. The 0-1. Foul ball. Pitch misses there. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. 
And there's one down. The left seven. Here's the left Jesus. fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Sanchez. There's a strike. This is a very important oh, inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next pitch misses way outside. Yeah, the right hander deals. That's, That's off the mark. Three. Two balls and a strike. That smash towards center. Harris racing over to make the catch. Here's the center fielder, Ramon Laureano. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That one pushed foul. Way upstairs, it's a ball and two strikes. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Next offering in the dirt. Ball two. And now it's filled up. Puts it in the air out towards left center. It gets down a base hit. Jorge Soler, the next up for the Marlins. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Yeah. And that drops in for a strike. And the righty deals. Close, but call the ball. And it's one and one. In the air to left center. Harris has a beat on it. And that is that. Marlins leave one. They're down five. It's seven to two. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ozzy Albies. Ozzie Albee's a young guy that's putting together an impressive resume already two times in All-Star. Twice he's won the Silver Slugger, oh, and he's guy. one of the smallest players in the league. And the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Yeah, but he packs a lot of punch in that bat, especially from the right side. This is a guy that had four grand slams before his 23rd birthday. The only other players with four grand slams before their 23rd birthday, Ken Griffey Jr., Eddie Matthews, Ted Williams, and John Carlos Stanton. The one-two. And a ball evens the count. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. That's inside.
And a 3 2. That one That's misses. A so a leadoff walk. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just right. capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Man, at first. in their own one you know these Braves putting together some really good at bats in this game there's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate it looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early no get him out of the game before he settles in so I'd say mission accomplished right-handed reliever one ball two strikes That That's just misses. Two yeah, balls, two yeah. strikes. Two, two now. In the dirt. And the runner holds. Checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. He did not go around. They just keep handing out gifts, Boo. Were we supposed to bring something? See, I think just our presence is the present. And now the DH, Vaughn Grissom. There's a strike. And he's down 0-2 oh, oh, as he down. swings through it. Albies at second. Riley on at first with nobody out. Get a couple runs. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one away. Uh, I think he might have gotten away the with one here. right there. Number that was 20. a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know oh, that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. fouled off and the one Ball. two walks in the inning already and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One out. Runners at first and second. Here we go. And down on strikes he goes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Now and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. First off, oh, bringing it just down. misses. Right. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Ozzy flying around third. One run is in. Here comes Riley. He'll score as well, and they're pulling away up by seven now. 
Nicely done. Brings home two. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that back. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. One for three. First pitch, oh, not close. And that one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Nope, outside. Fouls one off. Two and two. Runner at second, two down. Now fly ball to right center. And it one hops the wall. Run comes in from second, and it's now 10-2. And in its second with an RBI double. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you drop AJ Puck comes on now. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Orlando Arcia now at the plate. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. This to center field. Loriano makes the grab and that's the inning. So they get three runs, two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Five innings complete. It's the Braves 10 and the Marlins 2. Back here in Atlanta, Leading all set for the, for the top of the sixth. The and now for the Marlins, Christian, Christian Arroyo. Arroyo. Anderson back to work. And a strike on the outside edge. Oh, well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. The 0-2. Right side, hard hit. Albies over to first in time. And a quick out number one. Plenty of offense in this oh, one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Berger lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. And it's even up. One and one. Good Ball eye right three. there. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. No, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Kicks and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And here it comes. 
Hard ground ball base knock. Love how he let now that ball travel, trusted it. his hands. Yeah. Nice job of going the other way. So, man aboard, and now the catcher comes up to him. Nick Fortes. That one's in there. Strike one. Fortes, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2018. Berger, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. One, two Damn. misses to even the count. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Number two, shortstop, Jazz Chisholm And at the plate for Miami, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. Ball one, no strikes. Runners at first and second with one gone. Two balls, no strikes to count. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. That one pushed to the left and foul. Two and one now. There's a strike. On the ground. Protecting with strikes on him and putting the ball in play speaks to cutting down the strikeout strikes. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Brian De La Cruz. There's a strike. At the belt and fires. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. The 0-2. In the dirt, but kept close. Well done behind the dish. And he deals. And that's a base hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Number 73 stands in here, takes ball one low. Left field. 
Ozuna makes the grab on the run. The left field. Jesus Sanchez. Next to hit, Jesus Sanchez. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. Two outs, bases are full. Strike two. Gets a piece and stay alive. And a pitch. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. No movement on the bases. One and two to count. The pitch in the air left field down the line and no one can get to it it's a foul ball clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that change up as he fouls that fastball back here comes a pitch that one misses two and two He goes down looking. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Part of the order, three, four, five, coming up. It's the Braves 10 and the Marlins 3. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. pitch Chris the tools for Acuna the one thing that jumps out for me power and power to all fields I love his right center field pop and we saw him in the all-star game a few years ago he looked like a left-handed hitter hitting home runs that direction kicks and deals swing and a bouncer throw to first oh. is in time and that's one out now as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth Murphy. now the catcher up to hit Sean Murphy he's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport singing you can't ask for anything more this guy checks all the boxes offensively he is the ultimate professional and it doesn't just start at game time it starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game I tell you what his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field and yeah, that's outside but not just offensively but this is a guy that has a cannon of an arm he's thrown balls in over 100 miles per hour he's got speed on the base paths he can do it all and now the lefty, and that one a little bit high. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Liner, base hit. Now, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that matchup again. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. One gone runner at first. Ozzie Albies getting ready to hit. 
That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Puck goes six feet, seven inches, 27 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2016. The lefty, the 1 0. Now 1 to 1. I got a ball, one strike. Here's a 1 to 1. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Murphy leads off first with one away. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. They're usually going to see that inside fastball a little Next longer play. coming in from the opposite that's side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Riley in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Two outs. Fouled off left side. Got him looking for the K. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Left for Atlanta, but he's still about 10 3. Well, come on. Into the game now, the south ball for and One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. So here's the cleanup here. Ramon Laureano. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And multi-time all-star. He features a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a sinker. Ball in one now. In there at the knees for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. And he chases that one. And he gets the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat you up, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Sliced hard, but foul. Check swing went around. Oh, and two down. Just misses with that one. The punch out there, now two away. And now the first baseman, Christian Arroyo. the corner that's strike one. On one
Fouled off. He was late. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. And in that one, three batters, three strikeouts. That's the electric stuff out there. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Leading off, Vaughn Grissom. pitch this one popped up foul ground first base side Arroyo makes the grab one away the left fielder number 20 Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves he's already homered in this game with this kind of lead he can swing freely try to hit the ball out of the park do what he loves to do And that one fouled off. Hey. Strike two. Movement in the bullpen. Steven Okert, the lefty with big swing and miss stuff, is getting ready. And a pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Olsen, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Line drive, and a base hit, and that keeps the inning going. That's a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. First pitch, just misses. Kicks and fires. So Ball two through. balls and no strikes. Doing out. Olsen, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Sanchez makes the grab and that'll end the inning. at Truist Park. Here's the third baseman, Jake Berger. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. Oh, and one. And ball one. to the right side he'll do it himself oh. first out in the top of the eighth now batter the catcher Nick Fortes here's the catcher to hit Nick Fortes oh. 
And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. The pitch. Swing and a line drive curl out of the right side. And the pitch. Acuna after it. Makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. Well, I think the wind ended up being a factor right there. It's whipping in from right field right now. So otherwise, I think that ball's out of here. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Miami, Jazz Chisholm Jr. And that's through there for a strike. All one's the count. On the ground, right side. Marlin oh. set down in order. This one pretty well decided at this point. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Braves 10 and the Marlins 3. So the Marlins go with a new arm. Steven Oker. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And now the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. The shortstop, Orlando Arcia. And he deals. Sneaks through, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Here's Acuna now. He's already homered here in this one. That one finds the corner, and that's strike one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Number 78, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Oh and two now. And That's now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And that's a strikeout looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. So digging in, Sean Murphy. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Garcia leads off first with one away. That's a ball, but it goes foul. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Not one even ball. close there. It's a ball and two strikes. And there's a ball. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And the 2-2. Swings and misses. Two out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And first off, bring it fouled off. They're not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Next offering is in for a strike. And 
and here it comes. That one drifts inside. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And welcome back. And now the right fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Right fielder, number 14, Brian De La Cruz. Here comes a pitch. And a former All-Star, 33 years old, and he was a second-round pick back in 2008. And a pitch. And fouled off. At the belt and fires. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And there's one away. Up next for the Marlins. The and now for the Marlins, number 73. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a foul ball. Next oh, offering God. is downstairs. Left hand hitter waits. In the air out towards right center. Harris has a beat on it. And it's caught for the out. The left hand hitter. Marlins down to their final out. Now the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. In the air, out towards left center. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves even. But helps the team get the win. As you can see, they're pretty happy about it. And they're celebrating his performance in this one. Final score here today, 10-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.